Put it simply, first past the post sucks. Hello, you're watching Stop Press, a show where I dissect in today's headlines, well, at least the day in which I recorded this, for your morbid entertainment. So, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, first we'll look at the uh, local paper, the, uh, the Week Post and Times, which appears to say, Towns to grab a slice of £56 million pounds for high street improvements. Apparently, and chicken coal in wake of a first outbreak of avian flu in the morns. Oh yeah, uh, so in the Peak District area, there's uh, all the chickens have been getting that dreadful bird flu that everyone was panicking about before a different variety of coronavirus decided to hit. Looks like things are heating. Although, <coughs> wait, no, sorry, it's H N five eight. It's like H eight five N eight or like whatever it's called. So it's a regular bird flu as opposed to the H one N one scary one. Uh, <coughs> and oh, the government and the first one, of course, is for people getting actually a decent amount of money for once. Uh, yeah, and so now we move on to the eye. Uh, Downing Street hit by backlash over landmark report on race. Now, yeah, that's very interesting. They, uh, the the uh, Commission on Race and Inequality uh, <coughs> held a did a report on racial relations in Britain and said. That Britain is one of the most, <laughs> one of the best societies for race, uh, and that race is like barely a problem whatsoever. And um, yeah, we still got some improvement, but class is much more of a thing. Now, to be honest, Britain is a very class entrenched society, but I found that race tends to come up uh, a lot more than you know the class. Well, to be fair, benefits cheat. So, like, people talk about people on benefits a lot. So, they've got a point there. But, yeah, class might matter more. But race is st it still seems to be pretty important. And there's still a lot of discrimination going on on the basis of, you know, the colour of your skin. Mm. Although, it's less than the colour of your skin. Well, to be honest, it's weird. Like, in Britain, it tends to be less than the colour of your skin. And, uh, you know, and more on just are you from somewhere different so somehow we're even more xenophobic you yay anyways it's just whitewashing so that the government doesn't have to do anything about it <coughs> and people quite rightly pissed off gone today hair tomorrow scientists are a step closer to finding cure for baldness now when they say a step quote it's usually some rather some relatively minor scientific discovery that paves the way towards something else but obviously the way they put it always makes people think oh it's right at the doorstep but come on it's probably going to take a few more years at least to come up with the balding cure i've got a receding hairline but i'm not that bothered about it because my self-esteem is through the roof due to my sheer obliviousness <coughs> And uh, vegan Easter eggs rated. Is this some kind of yolk? Wow, that particular joke, joke, joke was, uh, you know, terrible. Back to the office. 12th of April return for some civil servants. Oh, okay. Mental health in the spotlight, but reality check required by Rachel something and I can't quite see from here Thatcher legacy in reverse okay well some stuff about football 
and the sound of silence inside the head of someone who goes deaf. That would be very interesting. So as you can see, the, the whole racial report thing is front and centre, you know, it's a big issue. And the eyes, uh, one of those tries to stay neutral papers that has lots of different people taking lots of different sides. Although really, it, it tends to usually even out to be milk toast centrism. But, it still finds it important. By the way guys, I'm not dissing the eye words, like the eye is my paper of choice, even though I'm a bloody uh, Ken Livingstone style lefty. <laughs> you know, it's nice to read the opinions of people that don't necessarily agree with me. Interesting. Uh, but, anyways, we're, I'm moving on to the star now. Uh, and their headline choice is Thou shalt not be a bedwetter, and thou shalt not fib to the world either. Archbish blasts wokes and admits millionaire publicity shied couple would. What the fuck? Who cares? The Archbishop of Canterbury. Nobody fucking listens to the Archbishop of Canterbury. I, 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 I've never even met an Anglican. Except for that rant. Except for the teachers at my school. Some of them, anyways. Like, the only ones who actually talked about their religion at my ostensibly religious school were Roman Catholics, even though it was supposed to be Anglican. And that reverend in the same church. Like, mate, Britain's not that religious, really. Like, the only people I've met who believe in God, like, in Britain, tend to be sort of non religious theists, if you get what I mean. They don't adhere to a particular religion, even if their God does sort of fit the Christian idea, they're not officially Christian. Hide the sausage. What the fuck? I, I don't even... I don't read these papers. I'll, I'd get told off by the staff if I did, and I haven't got the money to buy them all, all the time. Cure for bald... Also, that bit from the eye made it into the cure. And look, a bald guy having thumbs up because his self-esteem is really bad. Oh, that's actually kind of upsetting. We're in a, a year's supply of pet food. Yeah, because readers of the star are intelligent enough to, like, look after a pet. Oh, and look. Filthy gits, like, with some litter strewn around a bin. Is this going to be another excuse to insult, like, r the Roma and Irish travellers again? Because that's what it usually tends to be. And now, the Daily Mail. After number 10 decor scandal, cat... Carry charity hit by official spending probe. Regulator to investigate after male exposés of fiancés at zoo where's PM's fiancé. Uh, fine, fucking hell. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Is PR bot. Oh, so the Daily Mail actually criticising the Tories for once, and it's not for being not right wing enough either. How unusual. Anyways, so it looks like there's some dodgy finances going on uh, with uh, Carrie Simmons and her charities in Bezelman or well, of course, her husband. Bar well, they're not married yet, are they? Uh, partner Boris uh, knows something about that. <coughs> Jennifer or Curry, <coughs> Mayor of London. <coughs> so. That's not really much new, is it? Oh. No. I know we're having, we're all having fun so far, but uh, well, we're halfway through, and that means it's time for an ad break. Fed up with having to lug about a heavy bag of tools everywhere you go? Well, new stick can help from JNL. Stick can do anything. It can be used as a toy for dogs or humans. Forgotten your clubs? Stick can be used to play golf. Stick has all of your self-defense needs covered. Use stick as a quick snack. Stick even tells the time. Order stick today for just $9.99 and you'll get a stick grip for absolutely free. New stick from JNL, the home of assorted kitchen.
Welcome back to Stop Press. Well, the show that you were watching earlier, of course. So, without further ado, let's continue to look at the today's headlines. Okay, so next we've got the local paper, uh, another one, the Sentinel. So it says jobs jumped by 469 as Bet365 sees profit fall. Gambling giant upbeat despite setback on page 5. So yeah, Bet365 is in Stoke. <coughs> Probably why Stoke sponsors them. And uh, uh, So it, obviously that's why it's in the local paper. Burgora in woman's bedroom. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Top of the class. Yeah. Please keep following the advice, presumably, about COVID lockdown. 200 COVID fine for delivering a gift with an exclamation mark. Well, yeah, probably because you're borrowing social distance. <laughs> the travel guidelines are doing it. Paper you love at, f well, I think that's debatable, at 40% off. Get it delivered to your door or subscribe to buy in store. Okay. Wow. Uh, next one is The Guardian. Downing Street Race Report condemned as divisive, of course, because it is. It's, a, it's fucking ridiculous, this report. <laughs> Uh, it just goes to show how much the government actually care about diversity, which is to say, not very much. Betting boss paid £421 million per share windfall. You see, Bet365 is a big company, so even though they're in Stoke, which you wouldn't expect to be big, they get to be in the national paper as well as in my crappy local paper. Hey, Stoke's relevant in the national news for once. Which doesn't happen that often. And Ofsted to investigate sexual abuse in schools. Fucking hell. That's, uh, that's really something, isn't it? And Helen Mirren looking back at the one good Friday. I don't know what that is. And The Times, its usual legible, readable self. Pfizer accuses Brussels of holding back vaccine effort. Well, that's probably because you guys aren't particularly uh, <clears throat> fulfilling your end of the bargain with the EU. Why should they fulfill their end? Anger over slave claims in Landmark race review. Yeah, basically more of what I said before. Racing. It's ridiculous. Help I for pupils as ministers launch school sex abuse in quiet. Jokes. It's pretty miserable though, isn't it? Really. It's a shame. And Deborah Ross. What if we treated bred humans the way we do dogs? Well, that's called eugenics. And it's generally frowned upon. About the Brussels thing, yeah, the EU is being a little obstructed. Well, to be more precise, some of the member nations of the EU, you know, the, the vaccine thing for the AstraZeneca vaccine, that was some countries within the EU. The EU themselves didn't actually recommend it, so, uh, you know, one can't help for those feeling there was a bit of a, you know, <laughs> ulterior motive in reporting it the way it was reported. Oh, not the sun. Okay. Nation's COVID boost. Jabs mommy. What? I, is that supposed to be a, a pun? A pun? I, I don't get it if I do. Queen has second vaccine, in, in quote marks. Like, it's a figure of speech. Back out and no mask. 99% take up dose number two. Uh, okay, well, I'm assuming if they have the first vaccine, they're probably going to want to have the second vaccine as well. So, you know, that's 
not really news. It's like news sky is sometimes blue. Yeah, the Queen got a COVID vaccine and the Sun seems to find this front page news for whatever reason. Even though, you know. Well, let's face it. The Sun's about. Uh, the Royal Family, sorry, is about as relevant as MySpace. Sharon Stone on frame for health, heartbreak, and that basic instinct moment. I'm assuming they mean like the, the crossing the legs scene. I haven't watched Basically Instinct, but I know about that scene thanks to TV Tropes. Ooh, TV Tropes. It's a fun website. If you're nerdy like myself, you might want to check it out. Oh, and some more football stuff. He England 2, Poland 1. Hero Harry pulls it off. Hero? It's a fucking football game. The only thing that the Sun finds heroic about it is that they've beaten a bunch of foreigners, that's what it is. <coughs> oh, and they advertise that the Sun's 30 pence. It seems cheap, but really, when you think about it, that's 30 pence wasted. You could have used buying, I don't know, Curly Whirly or something. And the mirror. Bin the little out. As rule of six party goers trash our parks, we demand clampdown. That letter really is disgusting. And um, this is the mirror, so I'm assuming they're not going to blame it on, you know, travellers. <laughs> uh, the mirror's not really a reliable, interesting newspaper. They're a boring, gossipy rag. But at least they have something resembling. And I'm afraid that that's all the newspapers I found in the off license today. So, <clears throat> for now, I'm Logan Shepherd Scully, and this has been Stock Press.